As we saw in the last video, the pKa of a compound can help us decide things such as the direction an acid-base equilibrium reaction will be favored. Because of this, we'll want to have some general understandings so we can make some predictions about the approximate strength of the pKa of an acidic compound. In general, acid strength is based on the stability of the conjugate base. In other words, the more stable the conjugate base, the stronger the acid will be. There are two different situations that we need to consider. For acids that have similar structures, in other words, similar in size, the most acidic hydrogen will be the one that's attached to the most electronegative atom. The reason this is important is because the more electronegative atom can more easily support the negative charge once the conjugate bases are formed. So for example, if we have methanol and methylamine, we see that the main difference is that the acidic hydrogen is attached to either an oxygen or a nitrogen. From our understanding of trends in electronegativity, we know that oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. Therefore, we'd expect methanol to have a much lower pKa value than methylamine. And in fact, that is the case. Methanol has a pKa of 15.5, whereas methylamine has a pKa of 40. The other situation involves compounds in which the acidic hydrogen is attached to atoms of very different sizes. This is generally the situation when the atom attached to the acidic hydrogen is from different rows of the periodic table. In this situation, the most acidic hydrogen is the one that's attached to the largest atom. In other words, the atom that is largest in size. The reason for this is that the negative charge of the conjugate base can be more easily spread over a greater volume in the larger atom. There are many organic compounds that can exist in either their conjugate acid or conjugate base form. One of the primary situations in which they can change their form will be based on the pH of the solution in which they exist. An example of this would be amino acids in biological systems. The pH of the solution can determine the form the amino acid will be found in. In general, the rule of thumb we use will say that for an organic compound that can exist as a conjugate acid-base pair, the compound will exist in its protonated or acidic form in solutions with a pH that is more acidic than the pKa of the conjugate acid. For this problem, we're asked to look at each of the conjugate acid forms of the compounds provided and to determine which form will predominate when they're in solutions that have a pH of 5.5. We're provided with a pKa for each of these compounds. The first thing we want to do is write the acid dissociation equilibrium showing the conjugate acid form reacting with water to form the conjugate base form of the compound provided. Once we've done this, we'll compare the pH of the solution, which in this problem is 5.5, to the pKa of the given compound. If the pH is less than the pKa of the compound, then we'll determine that the conjugate acid form will predominate. In the first problem, with ethanol, we see that it has a pKa of 15.9. We'll go ahead and write the acid dissociation equilibrium showing ethanol reacting with water to form the ethoxide ion and the hydronium ion. When we compare the pH of the solution and the pKa, the pH of 5.5 is less than the pKa of 15.9. This means that for this particular compound, ethanol will predominate in a solution with a pH of 5.5. You should pause this video now and complete the other two problems for the compounds provided. 
when we look at the second problem, we have the protonated ethanol compound with a pKa of minus 2.5. The protonated ethanol compound will react with water by donating one of the extra protons to form ethanol and hydronium ion. The pH of 5.5 is greater than the pKa of negative 2.5 for the protonated ethanol. This means that the base form, or ethanol, will exist at a pH of 5.5. For the third example, we have the methyl ammonium cation with a pKa of 11.0. The conjugate acid form, methyl ammonium cation, will react with water to produce methylamine and hydronium ion. The pH of 5.5 is less than the pKa of 11.0, which means that the conjugate acid form, the methyl ammonium ion, will exist in solutions at a pH of 5.5.